Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So I did a, I did a video, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, where um, I showed my pickups from my visit to Milton Keynes. So, uh, so one of the pickups was um, the uh, Optimus Prime Transformers Lego model, it was £149.99. Um, and I've got to say, I mean, it's all, it's, I've, I've, I've built it now. I finished it um, this morning. But I've got to say, it was a really, really enjoyable build. And I'm not disappointed at all. It's worth every penny. It is absolutely fantastic. It's, it's exactly the same as the, um, as the G1 Transformer from back in the 80s. Um, the, the attention to detail. The, the, I mean, one of the good things is, I mean, there was, I think there was only a few stickers that you had to put on there. Like the Autobot um, logos that go on the um, on the uh, on the arms, and they also go on. There's like a backpack, uh, like a jetpack on the uh, on the back as well, and they were already um, they were already uh, or they were um, they're not actually stickers. They were already applied to the plastic um, when you actually put it uh, together. But um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I don't. F I mean, when I built that Disney Lego castle, that was a that was a chore. That was so kind of time. I mean, it's a big model, obviously, but it's so time consuming. Um, there's so many little parts and everything. But this is just absolutely amazing. Even the like the gun on it as well, absolutely brilliant. It's also got um, comes with an Energon cube. As well, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure what you're supposed to to do with that. Um, comes with a, it comes with his orange. Oh, there's a helicopter in the background. I'll just leave it in. Must be the police or something. Right, so um, he also comes with, I think it's an like an energon cube. I mean, I'm not really sure what you what you're actually gonna gonna do with that but it's a nice little addition I suppose uh, he's got his orange axe which to me is a bit pointless I mean it, it keeps falling out of his hand to be honest it's uh I, I, I'm not going to be displaying it with with the orange axe the gun looks fine oh and also like an Optimus Prime kind of like a little uh nameplate just to gives you a bit of information about his strength rank you know courage similar to the um Similar to the old uh, Hasbro boxes back in the day, you know, on the back, and you had to have that special, uh, what was it, like purple strip or something, so you so you could see it um, encoded on the back of the box. But no, it's a it's a fantastic model. Really, really, um, really, really happy with it. It's quite sturdy as well. And obviously, like anything, like any like Lego model, if you if you knock it down, it will fall apart. But you can just build it build it again, can't you? Um, but what I've what I haven't done, because I only as I say I only finished it this morning. What I haven't done yet is transfer transform it um, into the uh, into the truck. So that's what I'm going to try and do now, and I'm going to do it off camera because it's gonna, I think it's going to be a bit um, a bit awkward. But um, yeah, let's let's give it a go. So this is Optimus Prime transformed into uh, the truck, and I'm glad I did it off camera because it took me about ten minutes. Uh, I've got to be honest I mean it does look good but it is a little bit disappointing it's not sturdy at all I mean if you, this this is not tight it's I mean I know it's just a bit of fun but um, I just thought it was going to be a bit more um, I don't know a bit more structure to it well, you know once it had transformed into a truck uh, I mean they could have done they could have put like a window I mean I know you could you know I know you could probably couldn't transform it if you um, if you had additional bits on there, but I don't like the gaps. There's there's a lot of gaps on there, and they could have had like a, a window there. I mean, it's they could they could have done a window on there definitely. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's not sturdy at all. I mean that's the only dis I mean it looks good, but that's the I suppose that's the only disappointing thing, and the fact that it took a. It took about 10 minutes to transform, mainly because um, as, as I was doing it, bits of Lego would just fall off. And I'd have to go back to the uh, manual 
to make sure I put them back in the right place. But apart from that, it does look good. I mean, it's got nice rubber tyres. Um, I mean, it's it's just like the uh, the the, um, the original G1. Um, you know, it does it does it looks really good. I mean, when I have it on display, I'll be having um, I'll be having it as um, Optimus Prime. Def you know, definitely. I, th I just think it looks better, but it does look it does look fantastic. Um, and it's nice that they've used their kind of um, silver, like the kind of the silver Lego bricks for some of the features, like the you know the the um, petrol tanks. And it's, it's a shame they didn't put chrome on the actual uh, grill. I mean, they, they've they've used the silver, the little silver grills, but they could have. I think they could have chromed it up a bit more, if I'm honest. This would have looked nice in chrome. Um, and also the the actual pipes as well, but you know it's it's a decent enough model. Just just a little just a little bit disappointed um, by by the actual truck, but you know I suppose it, I suppose the main design was for the um, the Optimus Prime figure, and that's what I like. I mean it's, it does look really really good as as Optimus Prime. Um, so yeah, I'll be displaying it as the Optimus Prime um, figure. But yeah, that's no, really good. And um, this is the um, the jetpack that was on the back. So that obviously has to come off when um, when you transform it, and that just sits on there, just kind of comes off as well. Um, and obviously the gun as well. Um, one of the main um, changes compared to the um, to the uh, original uh, G1 toy. Is that it can actually keep its arms on because I because the, the old G1 you had to take the hands off, um, which fitted into the um, the headlights, uh, which is why so many have now gone missing over the years. But yeah, th this keeps it on. They just fold and um, sit underneath the, the grill and headlights. But um, but yeah, no, that's, that's a good enough model. Um, was it worth 150 per quid? Yeah, I think so. I think it's great, and I hope they do bring out um, some more Transformers, like, um, like Megatron, Starscream. Um, Ultra Magnus would be good, but I think Ultra Mag Magnus would be, would be very, very big. Um, but definitely, Lego should bring out Optimus Prime's um, trailer, because that would be um, fantastic. That would finish it off. I mean, that would be massive, but yeah, why not? Bring out the trailer, I'll definitely buy it. But yeah, that's it. So now, I mean, as I say, I finished this this morning. So now I can um, make a start on my um, Mandalorian Star Wars, uh, you know, Naboo Starfighter. So I might, yeah, I might start that. Well, I'll probably do that. Um, start that tomorrow. But that's a really, really um, good ship. And as I said before, um, I actually prefer the. Uh, Nabu Starfighter than the, than the Razor Crest, if I'm honest. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Also hoping to pop pop into the um, uh, Lego store in London next week, or well, I'm planning to, as long as there's no rail strikes or anything like that. But yeah, so this is it: the um, Transformers Optimus Prime Lego model. I hope you like this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. Join me in the next video, which will hopefully, hopefully be in a couple of days' time. The vlog. Is over.